show you how you can create a calendar appointment in Teams for a specific class or a specific channel in your class. And then grab your link and copy the link and put it into a place that they're more likely to look. For example, a to-do list on an update or um, you may copy and paste it into um, a slide stack that you're using as a landing page or agenda for your course. So you can grab that link and put it pretty much anywhere. Okay, so what you'll do is you are going to go to the calendar inside of the Teams app and you're gonna double click to create that and you'll just give it a title. You can add required attendees specifically by typing their names and then it will add it to their calendar or you can add a channel and from that channel um, or from that team, you could add a specific channel and that will add the people who are in that channel to this invite and then give it some details and make sure your time is set up and all of that. So then you're going to press send and once it's finished processing, it will add that to your team's calendar and you will be able to open it and grab your link. Okay, so now that my um, calendar appointment is set, I'm going to double click to open it. And I may wanna change a couple options on this meeting, so I am going to click on meeting options. It will open this online, and it's gonna allow me to customize a few things inside of that. So for example, who can bypass the lobby? I probably wanna say only people in my organization. That would be people who are logged in to um, enter the meeting. Okay, I also want to um, possibly change who can present. So if I do that, what I'm gonna do is click the drop down, and I might choose only me, or if I choose specific people, I can type in their email address and add those people who are allowed to present. So here, if it's only me, then everyone else is an attendee and I have the ability to mute them, but they can't mute me. And I have the ability to share my screen, but they can't share theirs. So that might clean up that meeting time for you. You're just gonna press save, close that window, navigate back to the Teams app, and then right down here, it says join Microsoft Teams meeting. I'm going to right click that and press copy link. Now I can take that link and drop it into all kinds of places. So if I head over to Schoology and I have a to-do list that I've started, I can highlight that to-do list in updates and I can press insert content link, drop that link in there. And now this is a link that will take my students directly to the meeting. Another option I might wanna try is I might go down to my, or go up, sorry. I might go up to my calendar and I may go ahead and create an appointment for that. So I like to work in the week view. And if I head in here, and at the same time, I just created that Teams meeting, um, I could put Teams meeting. I highlight that text, click the link option, insert, and then right down here where it says options, like who's who am I doing or adding this to, I might then type in my course title and then choose my course title from the list, press create. And then that is gonna show up for any student. So if I come back to my course, I'm gonna refresh that and it would then appear in their upcoming area and they could click on that calendar invite, click here to join, and it will automatically open that Teams meeting for them. So that's a second way that you could get that information or link out to them through Schoology or um, actually you could post that link anywhere you need people to go. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.